Shout out to you, Harp. Congratulations, man. Good morning. Oh, man. Thanks, Jordy, man. Uh, it's, been, it's been a great week. Um, I'm just extremely happy, blessed. Uh, and this is just, it's not so much about me, but so many others that have poured into me and allowed me to be able to, uh, you know, get to where I'm at. Uh, just, you know, my family, my wife. And I can actually, like, my kids will all be there and I actually show them, like, hey, your dad was once a baller. See? Mm. It's yes. not just on Google, baby. Oh, yes. It's not just on Google. Oh, yes, kids. Two times pro, two time pro bowler uh, for you. And uh, the leading, uh, he had the uh, most interceptions, most sacks uh, in his time was 17 uh, during his, uh, his days with the Saints. Uh, Roman, one, one thing about the, the week that surprised me, and I was telling T Bob this, uh, I, I thought for sure after that morning, when you were telling us about the New Orleans Saints defense while your kid was vomiting and you were feeding him in carpool, uh, that you were definitely not going to have any more kids. Uh, so congratulations to you and your <laughs> wife for having another uh, another beautiful baby boy. So uh, congratulations. Everybody's healthy, right? Hey man, everybody's healthy, man. And I will just say this, man. You know, a, a crazy Alabama football weekend in Columbia, South Carolina, man. That's a man. Man, sometimes things get out of control, you know? <laughs> yeah, so. All right, but there's only one way it happens, Ro. No excuses. Uh, <laughs> hey. <laughs> Ro, uh, Sean Payton, we played a clip earlier. He, he was talking about how um, – congrats, by the way, man. It's incredible. Everything. But yes, he, he, he was talking about that 2006 draft class and, and what it means to him, right, being the first class – uh, since he was coach, obviously the turnaround post Katrina, the magical year that was in the years that followed, and now the golden age of Saints football that has been in the 15 years since. Uh, do you ever reflect on that? Like, like, what does it mean to you to be at the forefront of what has been the best era of Saints football ever? Hmm. You know, it's it's, it's very eye opening. I remember when I got drafted, my college roommate Charlie Pepper laughed at me. He congratulated me first, but then he said, dude, you're going to the Saints. They are terrible. Like, you guys have never made the playoffs. He was, like, saying all these things, and I really hadn't thought about that. I was just happy at the moment, which he really crapped on all my hat joy at the second. But it, it was it was cool. And I was like, you know what? Whatever, man. And uh, you just – hopefully you get drafted. But – which he did later on. But still, it was just uh, – it, but now you look back and we, we started winning immediately in all the trials and tribulations we went through at Millsaps and how bad that place was. But it really just set the standard for I could be able to get through anything else. And, you know, I don't look at so much of all the accomplishments now of the Saints because that's what these guys are doing. And I don't want to take anything from them. Uh, but, man, I look back at how many of those guys in that draft class played 10 or more years. It was just amazing yeah. to see how we've all come together, how we didn't miss, really. Like, we came together in Millsap through all the, the bad things. And, look, and when we got there, nobody knew who anybody was except Reggie. Mm -hmm. We all knew Reggie was a baller. You know, Alabama was not Alabama now when I was there. I mean, I was pretty good, but, right. you know, man, I was just happy to be there. I didn't even have the full confidence to know how good I could be. Mm -hmm. All right? Jari Evans, fourth round pick, the next guy. He had these huge bifocal glasses on from a small school. I'm like, I don't even know this guy. You know what I mean? Like, how could he be good? But Job was the first one of us that started starting. So he got it first. So now we're like, okay, Josh. So we're celebrating him. All right. Reggie's going to be Reggie. All right. Colson was 20 pounds overweight when he first showed up. He, he wasn't anything close to what he was. Wow. And all of a sudden, next thing you know, Colson starts making his play. And then, you know, Streep. Totally came out of nowhere. He played longer than anybody. So it, it's just crazy how all these things. Rob Ninkovich, I mean, he had to leave to actually hit the floor running. So it, it's just kind of crazy how it all worked out. We're all still very close. We all still joke with each other. We love one another. But I think that bond of that class, to me, is what I take away more than anything, is that those are really like my brothers. Like, their families are my family. How much our families all together as we travel through all those years of football how our families love each other. Like, that is what I really take from that. Like, the relationships of all that, like, goes way, way more than any touchdown, any tackle, than anything we did. When during the illustrious career, because you say on draft day that you had no idea on how good you could be, who was it and when was it that unlocked it 
that that you knew you could be great? Um, my DB coach's name was Tony Odin. He's actually down in Miami now. Um, I was going into my fourth year. You know, I started just about. I started every game my first two careers. In my mind, I'm like, dude, I'm ready to get paid or something. Right. All right. And and Mickey and them were like, no, we got to see more. We got to see this. We got to see that. And I just really started hitting the weight room a whole bunch. I just tried to like really focus in, and I just had so much to prove. And I remember this like it was yesterday. We're about to start practice uh, for like OTAs or something that year. And Tony O was like, Roman, you know, we just came from coaching the Pro Bowl and Sean Taylor was there. I was like, oh, man, Sean Taylor's a beast. Like, he's a baller. He's the best. And he was like, Roman, you want to know the diff- the biggest difference between Sean Taylor and you? I was like, what is it? And he was like, he's like, he said, it's not talent. He said, literally, it's just the details. Like, he's like, I watch Sean Taylor every day work hard at practice and just put in the work. Like, can you imagine if you did that every day? Like, you didn't take anything off. Yeah. You didn't take anything for granted. Like, you were all the way focused. You were ready, and like, you were ready to be the best that you could every day, every rep. How great you would be. He's like, you got everything else, dude. Like, you got it. And because of that, nobody ever told me that I could be that great. That was the first time I'd anybody heard of that. And it's almost like it just unlocked it for me, like, okay, it's a goal. So then from there, that's all I want to do. And next year, I made a Pro Bowl, made another Pro Bowl. Yeah. All these other things start happening, and boom, boom, boom. It's just it's just crazy how you can unlock the mind and how strong the mind is. Talking to Roman Harper, Saints Hall of Famer, just had another son, and joining the SEC Network, SEC Nation, going to be talking college football coming up this fall. Uh, Ro, you, you were so good on the Saints last year. Are you excited to talk some SEC? Get it, or Are you and McElroy already texting each other about how much you love Alabama? Ugh. So first of all, everybody, you don't have to question my love for my university. <laughs> we we, right? we told Tom Hart that. <laughs> and second of all, all right, so I will not because the ESPN is not officially announced things. I'm right. trying not to. Oh, that's right. My bad. Yeah. I forgot. I was actually Jordy told me not to ask. That's the, my bad. The, <laughs> it, it's okay. No, no, no. It's all right. I'm just. I will not confirm or deny. But I do love talking about college football. <laughs> I do love the fact that if I have the opportunity to see the SEC up close and in hand, I will love every minute of it. And I think the most important part for me that I'm really going to enjoy is that I will actually get to, like, see what these campuses look like. Yeah. I will actually get to, like, see what these fans are like. You know, I've been to a lot of these places, but I was I landed there, went from a plane, I went to a hotel, yep. then I played a game, and then I flew out. Like, I've never actually been to any of these places. I would love to see College Station. I would love to see the swamp down in Florida. I've been to Baton Rouge, so I know what that's like. Um, what other places I would like to see in the SEC? I would love to actually see Knoxville and yes. what Tennessee mm-hmm. all it has. I've Me seen too. the stadium and how great it is. I would love to like actually witness it and like see the fans. I actually want to see Missouri, as terrible as that experience <laughs> may seem. I want to see that too, um, just because it's new. I, I just don't know what to expect. So that's all I want to do. I just want to experience it all and just take it all in. I'm like a little kid in a candy store, and I'm just fired up, dude. I'm excited. You guys know I can't hold back my emotions, and I'm very open and honest. And uh, I'm just going to put my best foot forward. I can't wait. The people uh, are going to love you. Uh, even the ones that are mad at you about <laughs> Alabama are still going to love you. It's going to be awesome. I mean, it's, it's, it's going to be exactly what happened to you here. You know, I mean, everybody couldn't wait to hear from you on Thursday when they hung up. Get him out of here! I hate the, the, the roll tide, uh, bro. We are uh, we are fired up for you. You deserve everything. Send the best to your uh, to your wife and your healthy baby boy. Congratulations on all of it, bro. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. And the best part is that you guys are ESPN, so we can all work together. Still. Oh yeah, Listen, oh, yeah. We Gucci Don't worry about it. Yeah, man. So yeah, baby, I love it. I'll, we'll see you, Ro. All right, man. We'll tell all my LSU, all my LSU haters out there, roll tide. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah the news coming. How to get it in.